Turner and Riddle Street, East Waco. You say East Waco? Yes, sir. Okay. First of all, uh, what's your name? My name is Carl. So what's going on anyway, riding horses through, uh, <laughs> through Waco? Uh, me and a couple of friends, uh, we're just chilling out. You know, this, Mr. Rogers got his neighborhood and we got ours and welcome to the neighborhood. I was following you guys and catching footage of uh, the reactions on, on the kids riding through the oh, yeah. riding through that yeah. neighborhood back there. I yeah. mean, d well, a lot of kids on the on the real horse they've ever seen is on the TV, you know. Yeah. yeah so uh, they get a little thrill out of that. I know I did when I was a kid. Yeah. Yeah. Still do. I'm still old, do. Yeah, I'm an old kid now. So would you consider <laughs> yourself a cowboy? Not really. Uh, I just like horses, man. Yeah. You know, some people. Like dogs, you couldn't call yourself a dog boy because you like dogs, but I like I like horses. But I don't think I can maintain the cowboy's life. I'm spoiled to the city life. <laughs> you know? Yeah, that's fun. Cowboy had a tough weight. But, uh, no, I just enjoy horses, man. So how, how often do you ride like uh, this? Whenever I, I feel like it, this is, uh, this is my relaxation, you know. Uh, mm -hmm. My baby, I have. A, I'm a single parent. I have a six-year-old daughter. Oh wow! And uh, she rides. Yeah, most definitely she rides, and you know, it's it's just a way of relaxing, man. You get on this horse, and you can get a lot of things settled and solved. Yeah, well, you've got a group of friends with you too. Oh uh, yeah, they feel the same way about them. That's yeah. why they ride. You know, believe it or not, but uh, I don't know. You know, this being the Chisholm Trail and Texas being a horse state, you know, and horses considered a mode of transportation. Yeah. It's just another way of getting around. Some people don't like it, you know. Well, let me ask you, I've got a five, almost a six-year-old little girl, and I was devastated about that news that, that, that guy in Connecticut. Did you hear about that? I don't even want to talk about that. I don't want to talk. That was bad, I know. Yeah. You know, that's kids, innocent, man. You know. Just take it. People that I know that's old as me and some a little younger than me that could have taken those kids place and needed to go, you know. Mm -hmm. But, I, like I said, I don't want to talk about that. Yeah, that, that's uh, he's rough. He's dead. I, 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 I feel for the family. I, 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 I not only can be sympathetic, I can be ap apathetic because I've had family loss. You know, mm. and anybody that have can't feel. Yeah. So. Yeah. yeah. It's tough. Yeah. Uh, I used to be a carpenter. Uh huh. And uh, I fell off of a two-story building. You know, uh, I was trying to perfect flight. I got that perfected, but it was the landing I needed to work on. Yeah. You know. So, what do you think of everyone or everyone's perception of America? Do you think? People still have the same love of this country now as they did 20, 30 years ago? Man, I'd rather live here in America as a cockroach than to go anywhere else and live, you know. Why uh, is with that? Up, with its ups and downs. Because I love it. I like it. This is my home. <laughs> the only country I know. Freedom. <laughs> do, do people even know what freedom is anymore? I guess freedom really has to come in your mind, man, because uh, I don't I, I don't know. I feel free, uh, and then I feel restricted. So, you know, I do what I can when I can, and, mm -hmm. and, and, and I take the good with the bad and keep on rolling, you know. You know, there's a lot of people who talk about, um, who talk about, uh, you know, they think the country is just falling apart, that we're going backwards. No, the country's not going back. We're just having some hard times. That's all that is. Uh, you know, it used to be a government of the people, by the people, for the people. But now, sometimes I, I tend to think that it works into a pyramid thing where one, one try to control it all. You know, it's like George Orwell, Big Brother. But if people that just come together, man, and, and instead of, I think a lot of personal attitudes get involved in politics, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, 
you know, but uh, if we can come together and fight for a common cause, shit, this ain't nothing but some hard times, man. Yeah. <laughs> you know? As long as you if got I, your... If I hadn't been brought up on buttermilk and cornbread, you know, I would start to <laughs> death, you know. But, yeah. Well, you know, a lot of people don't know hard times. Uh, yeah, they do. You know, they, they don't just, know how to struggle. They know it, they just don't know how to accept it and deal with it. Yeah. You know, sometimes when you're getting punched, it's best just to kind of roll away from it versus just to stand there and try to take it. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Well, life is like that too, you know. You kind of, kind of roll with the hard time, and then too, God ain't gonna put no more on you than you can bear. Sometimes I thank Him for the times that I go through and my little hardships. Uh, I have to catch myself, and then I, I start thanking Him because He would have that much faith in me to carry those burdens, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, sometimes you can't see the forest for the trees. But I'm all right. I'm happy. Yeah. People think that their vote don't matter. They think the whole system sacked against them. You know that there's this sort of almost defeated, defeated mentality. What do you say to those people to get them back on track? Well, I don't know what to say to them. You know, you have to take an inventory of your resources and check your strengths out along with your weakness. And you have to use that. Uh, Sometimes retreat is the major part of battle. Sometimes you have to step back, you know. Uh, but hard times, I've seen, well, I saw hard times and even know I was seeing hard times as a kid. I come from a family of, uh, of seven, seven kids, two parents. My mother died when she was five, I mean, when I was five. And uh, uh, we were, we had hard time, but we didn't know it as kids. I didn't, <laughs> you know? Mm -hmm. So, to anybody that's having a hard time, you're not isolated, you're not by yourself. You know, everybody has a hard time, you know? Mm -hmm. I'm having a hard time, but mm -hmm. I'm smiling. You know, <laughs> I am. <laughs> you know, here it is Christmas, and uh, I haven't even begun to show for my baby girl, but I got faith, man. Right. I've been putting in the Christmas decoration up. She said, she said, Daddy, you gonna put that? I said, yeah, baby, we're gonna, we gonna put it up, we're gonna put it up. You know, but uh, I ain't worried, she gonna, Christmas. She That's gonna right. have Christmas decoration, lights, and, and whatever I can get, you know. But it'll be a Christmas, you know, it will. I love it, I love it. Well, <laughs> it's been a pleasure visiting with you, I think. Um, you know, people will learn a lot from watching this video. It's it's very, very. I don't, uh, I don't know. You know, I <laughs> I don't know what they can learn from me because I'm still struggling. <laughs> but it, it, it's a joyful struggle, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, man, I, like I said, I fell off a two-story building and had four heart attacks. and still standing, and people are talking about, "Well, you real lucky." That ain't luck. That's a blessing. You know, that, that's a blessing, man. And you got your buddy. Yeah. I got my buddy, my family, and I got God. And I got some friends. They're not around now, but you saw them on the <laughs> Yeah, they, they saw the camera come out. They just they ain't coming around until the camera goes away. Yeah, they're a little camera shy. You know? Yeah, yeah. Well, they're I like appreciate it. in the hood anyway. <laughs> I think America needs to pray that everybody come together and the politicians quit bickering and come on and do the right thing. The people decided what they want to do. Let's just do it and move on.